Hello, we're going to uh, demonstrate uh, today. This is a Xerox 7, you can see a 7760. Uh, the problem with this is uh, the uh, cyan uh, toner, which is uh, compatible, um, it will not come out, um, got stuck. So this one right here would not uh, come out. So we need to um, open the the top here. To do that, here on the side, we uh, we have to remove one uh, four screws. One, two. These are removed already. Uh, and then three four so we have to remove uh, four screws let me see here okay so we have to remove one two uh, three four uh, and there's one right here also if you can see that okay four so let's start the process. After removing that, this plastic should uh, come out. And you have to open the. Oh. Then after removing the plastic, we have to take off uh, two more screws right here, one and one right here. Okay. Oh, sorry about that. All right. Set that aside. Then after here, we need to move to the front. So we need to re remove one more screw right here. should be able to, but we need to be careful because underneath here right there is a cable that powers the uh, the the screen the display but um, just have to undo this cable here the cable connects to the port right there if you can see it that's the cable all right ladies all right so the problem here is the uh the cyan see that it's twisting but it's not coming out so really the problem here is the uh the plastic uh, the uh, interlocking mechanism is not functioning properly so what we need to do is we just have to use our hand twist this all the way okay, so we can twist that twist that all the way and that should uh, help enable us to pull this and this plastic right here 
interlocks with the the plastic there where the toner uh, goes in so that was the uh, the problem all right so after that just have to put back the cover and um, the screws and we should be we should be okay all right Side right here so we can finish the process all right first area this there we go right. cable is in Let's slide this at the back right here it's lined up there we go now we need to put the screw back here. Right. And put the rest of the screws here. Two screws right here before putting back the plastic cover. put this plastic back All right, we're all set. Close it. Yeah, it should fire up. Put your new uh, toner in, and that should fix the problem. Thank you for watching.